собака. О, какая. Красавец лайк. Wow, mama, mama, help. Little baby. Update on the big brother training. Walk he sings and rocks the baby, which is good. Walk on the baby in a green car. We know where we walk. We know where we walk. He throws the baby on the floor. Cradle and all. <laughs> so we're working on it. <laughs> also, I've been uh, taping off different spots that we need to touch up to uh, sell our house. <laughs> but this is so cute. <laughs> Cradle and all. And here's Felix. Baby. Is baby riding the horse? Baby, I am. Oh, you want to show baby the lamp? Look at the lamp, baby. <laughs> Go in the swing. Go in the swing. Put, put in the swing. <laughs> There you go, baby. Put her on the rocking chair, on the horse. Taking a nap. Put her in the bed. Oh, no, no, baby. swing there we go there we go gee gee and so bring a little a happy way open a got there here and to I'm done taking back. Uh, uh. Go 
if you guys don't know what he's singing go back to my previous vlog um my sister taught Grayson how to draw a dog and there's a little rhyme that goes with it and um basically it's like a stick figure and like a bunch of dots and then you just make a bunch of circles and it creates what looks like a dog face and so that's what he is drawing and singing and it's really really cute I had to get that on camera he's being super cute today with the baby and with um drawing um but I just wanted to hop on and I didn't think I was gonna vlog today but I guess I am and I can probably show you guys some updates on the house that we're doing Anthony has been working so hard on the basement we are um totally repainting like almost everything all the walls even the floors and the stairs so it's taking us a while but we're getting it done a lot and like I said before I've been going through you can even see it in Grayson's room I have been putting down tape at spaces where when we first moved into this house, you can go back one of my first couple of vlogs, I had all of my siblings and my parents come and we repainted basically every, um, almost every room in our house and we repainted like all of the baseboards and everything just to like make it look really white and nice. But when you have free help there's bound to be lots of mistakes um and so there are a lot of paint touch-ups that need to be done before we put this house up for sale so i've been going through and um getting the most noticeable parts it's not going to be perfect but we can do what we can we still have leftover paint for all this stuff so Hopefully we have enough to like do all the touch-ups. Obviously with touch-ups you don't need that much paint. But Anthony has been working super hard on the basement. Um, we have repainted the walls. You can go back to like my first like walkthrough of the house when it was empty when we first bought the house. The basement is like what the walls were like a greenish yellow color. Super ugly. And the floors are like this maroon red color. Again, super ugly. I don't know what the previous owners were thinking so anyway we repainted all the walls white we're gonna repaint the floors gray repaint the stairs gray get rid of the red color and then um there's like cinder block wall um along like the unfinished part and stuff and it was just like a really dingy color like it had not been painted in a while so we went and got dry lock which i'd never even heard of that before but i guess it's like a type of paint that helps like basements and like water resistant and stuff so we went and bought that and so anthony went and repainted all of the blocks i'll have to go downstairs and show you guys it looks so much better so much better um, so he finished that. There is some drywall downstairs and there's a hole in the bottom of the drywall. I'm not sure why. It looks like it was there intentionally, but I'm not sure why there's a hole. So Anthony's going to patch that up today and then um, hopefully we can get started on the floor. Unfortunately, because I'm pregnant, I cannot help him paint at all. Um, because I'm pregnant and they say like it could harm the baby if you inhale paint fumes so Anthony unfortunately is left to do all of that on his own it's a bummer but he's working really hard on it and I hope we'll be able to have the house ready to go soon because as soon as we have the house ready then we can start looking at houses um, and get this process started so we're working as hard as we can um, it's really a one-person job, which is kind of hard. <laughs> but in other news, I am one month away from my due date. Today is August 9th, and I am due September 9th. So we have one month to go. And let me tell you guys, I have done nothing. Sorry for the music. Grayson is reading his music book. Um, yeah, I've basically done nothing for this baby. I mean, you saw we did the nursery, so that's all set up um, to look staged when we put our house up for sale. But I haven't bought any clothes for this baby. Granted, we do have um, hand-me-downs that Grayson wore when he was little. But the problem with this is Grayson was born in April. This baby's going to be born in September. Total opposite seasons. And so while I have a lot of like summer clothes 
for like zero to three months and three to six months, I'm gonna need a lot of winter clothes for this baby for zero to three and three to six. So I need to go and get some clothes for this baby, but I've just been like not. Thankfully my mom has got me some clothes here and there. So we've been accumulating some. I'll show you um, what the clothes look like, but I have a list on my phone of all the things I need to get done in a month. And it is a lot of stuff, let me tell you. Um, so let me show you. This my mom got. Uh, this might be the um, going home outfit because it says welcome home. And it's so darn cute. It's a little giraffe and has little giraffe feet. I am a sucker for like little animals on the feet. And then it says welcome home. So that might be the baby's. Um... Oh, I'm turning around. So this might be the baby's um, coming home outfit because I think that's super cute. Um, and then we have like all of this stuff. Obviously some of it is new that my mom has got. Um, you just forget how little the clothes are. I mean, gosh, it's so tiny. This is zero to three months. Oh, so little. So hopefully this will like keep us okay. <laughs> Um, and I'll just have to shop here and there when I need clothes. So we have all of this and then I have a ton of onesies. Only problem with onesies is like they're all short sleeves and they don't like cover long. So it's like I just maybe I just need to get a lot of like pants to put on this baby. I don't know. So that's what we're trying to figure out but like you've seen like we have the whole nursery basically set up but the baby's not even gonna really be in the nursery he's gonna be sleeping with us in our bedroom in the bassinet for the first couple of months so i'm not too worried about like having all that eventually like we are gonna have to kick grayson out of the crib and move that to the nursery but we'll probably be in a new house by then so anyway, yeah, we're a month away and I have a long list of things I need to do. Some of the things on my list are, I need to go buy diapers. We have um, some newborn diapers and like one small pack of size ones. So I need way more size one diapers and other things I need are like gas drops. Like Grayson had a lot of um, gas problems when he was little and it would make him very fussy. And so I wanna have those on hand. I need like infant Tylenol for when the baby starts teething. I don't think I have any of that anymore, which I should probably have for Grayson. I mean, eventually he's gonna get his two-year-old bowlers. Anyway, I need to set up the bassinet. It's downstairs in the basement. I need to install the car seat. So I just have a long list of things that need to be done in a month. And I'm kind of stressing about it because I could go into labor early, but then on the other hand, a part of me is like, well, I went a week overdue with Grayson, so maybe I'll just have the same with this baby, and then I'll have a lot of time, so I don't know. I'm getting super uncomfortable, though. Um, it's just at the end of every day, my back just kills, and I'm just exhausted, and I barely do anything all day except for chase Grayson around and play with him. And so I'm just getting to that, to the end where I'm just tired of being pregnant and I'm ready for the baby to come. So anyway, I just wanted to keep you guys updated. You say hi. Uh, update on him and potty training. I know I told you guys I gave up on potty training and I wasn't sure if I was going to feel guilty about it or not or like upset that I did it. And honestly, I think it's the best decision I made. I feel so good that we stopped potty training. I have been more happy, um, not so stressed. We've been able to go out to all the parks. I've not had to um, hound him on going to the bathroom every five seconds. And I think it was the, the right decision. Anthony said that I stopped. He would rather me keep going and keep trying, but... I'm just gonna stop for a couple months and wait until maybe more winter time and try again. Um, and so I'm feeling good about that decision. So if you're out there and you try potty training and you stop, don't feel bad. It was probably the right decision and just try again in another couple months and you might, it might be way easier for you. So he likes to help me point. 
and the dish ran away with the spoon. <laughs>